Welcome to Columbia 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we take down three cartel lords. Rico, Jorge and Andrea. One of them is in a fortified compound, another one is in some sort of drug lab, drug den, and the other one is apparently round this very worn down and a shanty town. Wow, this place is really... You would have thought a place that the cartel would have a presence in, it would have been pretty tidy and pretty nice. The only house that actually looks really nice is the one that's gated off over there. There are guards everywhere. Even that guy with the top knot was a guard. It's a little bit worrying, but it's okay because I've got a silence pistol. I've got my lockpicks, and I've also got a set of coins. What can we do for you? I was supposed to have a quick meeting with Senorita Martinez. Do you know where she is? She should be back any minute now. Ah, perfect. Muchas gracias. And she's uh -huh. got high standards, that's for sure. What? Uh -huh. It's amazing he hasn't given up yet. Let no one say Hector isn't persistent. Hector? Constant gossiping is definitely helping him out. Right? That's weird. Oh, hey. That's weird. Hector is apparently after Miss Martinez. And there is a lot of presence down there, so it probably makes a little bit more sense. Is she in here? Oh, she is. I'm going to come back because I feel like there's more that I need to know before I go in there. I don't want to just slip in the back either. That might cause a few more problems. Let's check out the rest of the town. This place. This must be the fishing dock. I mean, it literally is a shanty town. There is, there is nothing here. It's just worn out buildings. No one's been able to upkeep them, I guess, or maintain them because I guess they're almost. This whole town is run by the cartel. It's kind of a bad thing, actually. I guess they're almost slaves to them. What is this delivery place? Bikes. Maybe a bar. Oh, you look different. Who that are you? That is P Power. Real name Paul Powers. Celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. Hmm? No. Hey, lady. I'm trying to make a phone call here. Buzz off, will you? Ay, andate la mierda. I don't understand your language. But I understand that you're pretty angry. Why? Alright. Some tequila bar. Middle of nowhere. I can't get out. Dexy, send help. Okay. So he's really out in the middle of nowhere. There's probably more to this story. Let's just wait around. Oh, is that a Freedom Fighters arcade? I need to play that on the channel. That's an awesome, awesome homage. Mate, I'm telling you, I've been in some crazy shit before, but this takes the cake. Uh huh. You know where I'm supposed to be, right? Delgado Mansion. Ah. Just knock on the front gate, they said. And then what? Walk in and tattoo the world's most notorious cartel boss. I can see how that's not easy. I heard he kills people. Just for fun. Hmm. Imagine what he'd do to me if I messed up. Well, sure, he's dangerous. But it's his wife you need to look out for, caballero. I'm a dead man. Yeah. I now understand why he's a little bit scared. Although, I wonder if I can take his disguise, or take him as a disguise, 
I don't really know what tents I should put that in. And that might allow me to get up into the Delgado Mansion. I wonder how I could... Is he leaving? Oh, he's making another phone call. I wonder. Let's move Jazz. Oh, no. Oh, the best song ever. This, this song is just so good. The piano rhythm. Oh, it touches my soul. Oh, I'm not turning this off. You need to go elsewhere, buddy. You need to disappear. <laughs> Actually worked. Now I'm just going to follow him behind the bar. That sounds even weirder. If I mess up, he's going to kill me. You have to help me here. Call me ASAP. I didn't think I'd ever be playing a game where I'd uh, be knocking someone unconscious to the song of a fancy piano string. Um, but it doesn't matter. I guess I've got P power. All good. Let's take his disguise. Then go to the Delgado Mansion. I think it's down here. Yep. Now, I'm thinking about this. This is a fortified mansion. I've got a gun. Uh, what if I what if I drop my pistol here? Because there's probably a really good chance I'm going to get frisked. There is actually two cameras at the door. Well, they said knock and just come on in, so let's knock. As I fall. Oh, that's a lot of guards. Okay. You're entering the lion's den, 47. Tread carefully. Practically everyone here is dangerous. Not least Rico Delgado himself. Everybody loves that shit. Follow me. Mrs. Delgado wanted to meet you. She's a big fan. Place is crazy. So famous tattoo artist, huh? I put some ink on skin as well in my time. Of course, most of that was in prison, and not always on people who appreciated the work. You know how hard it is to tattoo traitor on a guy's forehead while he's squirming around on the ground like a worm? Not easy, let me tell you. That's quite a story. I know. I mean, w was it to threaten that me? That is Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico Delgado for the past 11 years. Oh, it's really you. Hello. Power. It's such an honor to meet you. I just love your show. That episode where you tattoo the heart on the arm of that dead dying policeman while they're administrating CPR. <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the memory to this day. Oh, see. So. Rico has this tattoo on his neck, and he insists it's supposed to be based on a photo of me. I'm not a fool, Mr. Powers. My nerves never look like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Delgado. Okay. Oh, Chico. Let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, selfie. Sure. Sounds great. Why not? Why not? Yay! This is all very strange. This way. I don't smile. Oh, que si. Wow, we look so good together. This is great. What's next? Take me to the uh, patient, I guess. Is what I should call him? Patient? Yeah, I mean, you probably need some help after I'm done with him. Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Not a gold wall. So, this is the famous P Power, tattoo artist to the stars. Huh. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Carino, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a stylist chair for days. Yeah, that's but it. This is P power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. 
Come on, get in the chair. Let's uh, let's tattle okay. you. I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. Draw a nice penis on his face or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, no, I'm fixing his that face on his face. I swear to God. I'm just grabbing a few shots for the socials. Relax, Rico. Probably shouldn't kill them now. Do that somewhere else. I'm sorry that my social life is ruining your concentration. You need to keep still, Mr. Delgado. Oh, hey, I wouldn't Rico, want to stab worry. you by accident. You heard the man, Carolina. Hey, Leave us now. I'm watching. One wrong move. Fine. Pass our Head it your way. You hear me? But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. Hey, listen. You're taking this new bodyguard job a little too seriously, Jose. Just doing what's necessary, Rico. You're taking it too far, Jose. No guns. No way. I'm letting my guard down around a stranger, Rico. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss. All right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you. Wait, what? Oh, finally. So be so quiet. Yeah, Can finally. I my work now. <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it. Ah, uh, you probably shouldn't have said that. Just wait for that door to close. Okay, gonna kill you. Oh, in the ear. Okay. Rico Delgado Ooh. has been eliminated. Oh, he done. Nicely done. Ooh, sports key. Sports car key. I'm just gonna move his body into somewhere. There isn't a cupboard here. Oh, there is a safe. Now that is something. Is there a? Oh. Oh, okay. Right. That's not good. Cusey's down there. I wonder how I get out of this area now. A little bit worrying. There is some sort of is a blueprint. And how do I get into the safe? Combination lock needed. Huh. I I wonder. Where can I get that from? I kind of wanted to leave immediately, but now I want to stay and maybe check this place out a little bit. I just come out? Or do I... Oh, there's three guards. Can I go this way? Oh, okay. Right, no, I don't think I can leave. I'm going to see if I can get one of those guys to come back in. I've been here for such a long time. Surely he's going to come back in. Oh, oh. Boss? Nice. Alright, well, I'm now a mansion guard. The power look just didn't work for me. I guess also all those tattoos that were on my arms have now just miraculously disappeared. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, I'm going to take a look at this place and see if I can find anything unusual. Wow. Someone has literally stacks of money by their bed. I wish I had that. I'd really like stacks of money by my bed. I wonder if anyone... If anyone will allow me to do that, I wonder if I could just go in here, take, take a few stacks and then shove them under 47's bed. And that is a lot of bullet holes. And hang on a minute. Did, uh, oh, hello. Drug experiment report. Oh, hello. Oh, you've been Don't to Sanguine. Don't even get me started, Gina. I'm telling you, if he doesn't fix that tattoo, I'm not going to be responsible for my own actions. Maybe if I... You know what? It makes it easier when she's just not awake. Yeah, there we go. If she's not walking around, it'll probably make my life a lot easier. So it's just dumb body. And her voice was kind of annoying. I mean, no disrespect. I mean, it was just annoying. Hector's room. Is that Hector? Hey, buddy. Wow, you have a... A huge forehead. I mean, I have no hair, so my forehead basically is my head. But, I mean, wow. You... Wow, is that a table with golden suppressed pistols? Lines of cocaine and... And... Hola, and, señor. and money. This guy is living the life. Oh my god, he's got a stack too. Like what the? Mm, that's strange. Where is it? Sure, I put it here. Shit. 
What is the damn letter? Letter? Someone take it. Oh, sweet Santa Maria. Tell me nobody took the letter. If they took it, they must have read it. Okay, okay. Pull yourselves together. Maybe it's just that fucking gone. Some bastard stole the letter. Someone's stolen his letter. Now, I wonder what happens if I find this letter. Talk about an old cop. Yeah, I love to see her face if she ever found a letter, though. Someone took. She hates it. Someone took the letter and it's hiding downstairs. Alright, we can do this. We can find the letter. We will find the letter. And all will be well. And I'll hopefully have a way to get to uh, Miss Martinez. So the guy's got a bad leg, apparently. Which means that's the guy with the note. Now I just need to find a way of taking him out. Without having any issues. Oh, that was close. This letter from Hector to Martinez is something else like that. I read it five times and it's like there are these layers of meaning and substance that just reveal themselves as you read it again and again. It's magical. Too bad she won't read it. That is... That is actually really, really, really horrible thing to do. Like that man has just pulled his heart and soul out. You know, it doesn't matter how much drugs or how many people he's killed. You know, he's... He's trying to do something good, you know? What if I lure everyone out of the kitchen and when they go there I can get them into yeah this will work Good on you. now if I can hide the bodies the next time that guy comes round there's going to be no one else but me and him hey man come right in I was just making some some bread you know, I also found this really nice coconut. I thought maybe you might like want to, you know, get up close and maybe personal. Ooh. I understand you have a certain letter in your possession. Yeah. Maybe. So what? What? Well, I mean, I want it. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to bother. I was nice. I tried to be nice. I was polite. I... I didn't ask for it specifically, but I think I insinuated that I was hoping that you would hand it over. But no! And because of that, I hit you in the face with a coconut. Well, it wasn't too hard to get the love letter, but I'm not entirely sure what I need to do with the love letter now. I'm going to get out of here as soon as possible. Hopefully I can just walk out. No enforcers here. I can just go out the front door and pick up my silenced pistol, actually. That'd be really nice. And then onwards to uh, Martinez. Yoink. Wonder what happened if I just maybe give them the le love letter or put it in here. I have a letter from Miss be. Martinez. All right, let me see that. Is that from Hector? I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, let me enlighten you. Hector Delgado and Andrea Martinez were an item once, explosive and deadly. Things did not end well between them. He wants them to get back together. She wants them to go to hell. She's not accepting letters or gifts or anything from him. And neither am I. You put it on her desk yourself if it's so important to you. All right. I will go do that then. Is it here? Yes. Okay. Right, it's done. Guess now I should just wait. See what happens. She's coming in. I told you not to let anything from Hector through. But what did I just find? A letter. Were my instructions not clear? Yes, Mr. Martinez. Very clear. I don't know how that happened. I'm not sure that will happen again. Burn everything that even remotely smells like that idiot. Got it? Yes, Mr. Martinez. She gonna read it or seems pretty angry. Oh, I think she's gonna read it. 
Wait, I didn't actually do anything with the love letter, so... Where's she going? Let's see what he has to say. My, Hector. You romantic fool. I had no idea you still felt this way. Maybe... Hmm. But has he really changed? Don't care. Martinez is down. Good work. That was surprisingly straightforward. I guess I should probably go and find the last guy, Jorge. From the look of the map, it looks like Jorge is in the jungle somewhere. Ah, good thing I got a lockpick. Got my pistol just in case. I have no idea where this is taking me, but hopefully it gets me a little bit closer to him. Box over there. Odd. Go down here. I'm not trespassing by the looks of it, so that's a good thing. Guard uniform gets me into a lot of nice areas. Oh, right then. Huh. Two enforcers over there. I wonder. This is one hell manufacturing facility for there's some cocaine it's Kiko this this must be Kikoa there he is he's over there what is this there's a hundred percent something in there I should probably take a look at what if I do this oh oh Distraction. Maybe if I take his uniform, may maybe it'll help me get around a little bit better because I've got a lot of enforcers who would be very worried about who I am. It would call me out very quickly. And I'm in the brush. A monkey could fix this thing. Good job. Here's your prize. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, this is bad. Turn it back on quick. I just wanted the botany card. I also want to drag this body as far away as possible now because someone is probably going to come out. Well, actually, this has probably worked out well for me. Night, night. Let's take a look at this. Now, have we gone here? Hey, just so you know, you shouldn't mess with Frankfurt plant experiment. Likely to blow a fuse if anything happens to it. Thank you. That's good to know. Some drug notes. Don't mess with his project. What's this? Okay, I'll take that just in case. Blend in. But also, he said not to mess with the experiment. I am just going to mess with the experiment. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Um, how do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, he's going to be unhappy. Maybe it'll make him so angry that he will, I don't know run away in a fit of rage all alone and seclude it into a secluded location. He seems really sad, although I don't really know what's next going to happen. I I feel like he's probably just going to get really angry. I think I'm just doing something to make his pacemaker give out or something. I don't know. What's he doing? 
I was looking at the notes. There was like a location circled somewhere. Where's he going? Alright, I'm going to follow him. Alright, here he comes. I think I've got the right place. Oh, that's a very clip. Dr. Livingston. Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was that was a good job indeed. Pretty straightforward. Just to be safe. Let's get out of here. Ah, here we go. As I came in, I must leave. That was a really good level. Thank you everyone so much for watching. We are so close to a thousand subscribers, so if you want to support the channel, give a like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribed. I'll be doing more of this absolutely for sure, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.